Hi, this is Mimi from Mimi's Paper Crafting, and I'm doing a little bit something different today. I am going to show you how I organize my super small space. And so you can, let me close the door because the dog's barking, of course. Um, to get an idea of how small of a space it is, this is where I craft. I sit in that chair, and over there, don't mind the Amazon returns, is my desk. That desk gets folded out every time I want to use it, put in front of this chair, and then fold it and put back. Okay, so this is the small space that I'm working with. So I thought I would do, somebody asked me how I organize such a small space, so let me get to it. First of all, I have this cart over here. Um, I got this cart for Christmas from my dad on Amazon, but we'll start at the top of it. Here's my Cricut. It's covered. It's also on little legs. Okay. Um, also, I am holding my camera, so it's not going to be completely steady, and I'm sorry about that. But it's on legs to rise it up, and it rises up just enough that I can fit my big die cut, my mini die cut, and my joy underneath it. And there's even room most of the time. Hold on, let me grab it. I want to be transparent most of the time that basket's there. It has aspirin, deodorant, a brush, stuff like that in it. And then these drawers. Now, I'm not going to lie about this. Also, I... One of my main things about organizing a small space is you constantly have to reorganize. So none of these are actually, most of these aren't even right, the labels, but I know what they are and the important ones are correct. But up here I have all kinds of stuff to make bookmarks. This is now junk till I figure out what I'm going to do with it. I took all my embossing stuff out of here. Here's pouches bags, that kind of stuff. Down here are boxes and bags. All of my We Are punch boards are in this big drawer. And then I have journal pages down here at the bottom. Up here is all adhesives, magnets, my glue gun. This is some extra embellishments. I have embellishments somewhere else, but this is all ones I don't use as often or wouldn't fit. This is my book binding. So cinch journal book rings here's embossing folders down here are different books i have for journaling and at the bottom you can see it behind there is fabric and then here is where i keep all my current stuff for projects my computer and let me take a pause and take the lid off hold on okay so this is where i keep all my cardstock it's a little file folder little bin so in the front i have actual eight and a half by eleven cards I mean, paper, decorative paper, like this Park Lane Seasons, my cardstock, dyed paper, scraps, and then all of my other colored cardstock is separated by color, some foam, chipboard, that kind of stuff. Okay, I'm going to slowly move you up so I don't get you sick. All right, there's my bookshelves. See, those all are to be read. Up here is let me focus i'm on my phone so sorry this green is all my rubber stamps my stamp blocks and stamp cleaner and then these are photo boxes from michael's this one's not labeled because it changed but i had to label it it's envelopes any kind of envelope in there those are all cards mostly homemade up there are paper bags, more cinch, spiral binding I just got, ribbon and trim, all my journaling cards, extra journals, and this is also extra journals, and then that's all, the pink basket is all metal dies. Okay. Down here is my light board, sticker books. This is my everyday ephemera, holiday and seasonal ephemera. All of that ephemera that you get from like, I'm going to say it, Echo Park and places like that go in little sleeves. Let me show you quick. Hold on, let me put this down. Such a smooth transition. But see, they're all in little, these are photo sleeves and the smaller ones, like there's some Tim Holtz, but the smaller pieces go on baseball card sleeves. Okay. That's how I store all of my ephemera. And of course, I am going in and out. Sorry. There we go. That's how I store all of my ephemera. Okay, so let's put them back up. 
So this is like, uh, this is every day. And then this is holiday and seasonal. This has digitals in it. There's some coloring books off to the side. And this is my light board. It's a very cheap one, but it works great. Here I have all my six by eight and six by six papers. This is just more rags for cleaning stamps and stuff like that. A picture of my kid. Let's turn him to the side. He'll be mad. Um, buttons. Behind that is my large sticker maker. My two small Xyron sticker makers. My alcohol markers. My cinch. And that needs to go in with my journals. I don't know why it's not. You go down a shelf. My washi bins. And then this is all my paint. These are die cuts that I've been working on cutting out extra paint because I ran out of room in my basket. My little trimmer gets tucked in right here. Pens. Okay, let me get this light out of the way here. This is my light. It clips on to give me extra light. All my pens, markers, stuff like that. This basket pulls out, of course, and it has all my glues and water and rubbing alcohol hand sanitizer for cleaning, sprays, that kind of stuff. All right, down here is this little drawer set and they're labeled, listen, I'm also gonna tell you, they're not labeled for me. They're labeled for everybody else who says, mom or Amy, where's the scissor? So scissors, I have a razor blade, some glue in there, it's no longer tape. And my craft tools, this little drawer here I got from Timu and it holds clips. This is a pin cushion glued to this little um, garbage can my boyfriend made for me. This is just tags. It's extra storage. This basket has all the tape, my tape runner. This has extra McDonald's items in it that I still need to craft with. And then we go down here and this is all embossing. Um, embellishments, my Misty. Uh, an art journal, my big crocodile, and then as you can see, my baskets. These baskets I got from Target. These ones I got from Walmart. They're not labeled yet because I just got them. So scraps, all my inks, not all my inks, like the inks I use for stamping and like the walnut stain and stuff like that that I use a lot. This is my, my tool holder my boyfriend made for me. These are punches and up here are numbers letters, all kinds of stuff like that. And I have my rulers on the side. And down here, let me move back so you can see it, is all 12 by 12 paper. Okay, so this one is all my mini cubings. This is all embellishments. This is all stickers. My metal dies are, I ran out of room, so they're all up there. And all the rest, are 12 by 12 papers and then that's of course that four by six um photo keeper but i use it for embellishments and stuff like that i'm um, not embellishments but like pre-made ephemera but that's all 12 by 12 paper and it's all sorted florals ink splotches holiday and seasonal patterns plain colors travel and then i still have some kits from park if you want to know why i'm whispering that is the wakeford word for my amazon device and if you look over here there's a little gap between these cubbies and the bookshelf and that is where i have my trimmer here's the arm for my camera with my camera attached my trimmers there's my big road my guillotine and my glass mat so that's it that's how i store everything and my only advice for a small space is literally constantly reorganize. You're going to find things that work better for you. Once upon a time, my ephemera was down in that guy. Well, it didn't work for me. I don't grab it enough. Now that I have it separated and up here, I grab for it more often. I just had a little Timu container. It was not working for me. I cleaned out under my sink and grabbed, and this basket was no longer being used. I think it's going to work much better for me. Having my scissors, blades, and tape, they used to be over here. Well, it didn't work very well for me. Now it's over here, and it works great. Having a little garbage can next to me works great. 
These are the things that you need to constantly be reworking, in my opinion, if you work in a small space. If you just keep everything the same, you're going to get frustrated and you're going to get annoyed and it's not going to work for you. So like I said, this basket right here is new. I just got it. Um, and when I got it, I was like, what am I going to do with this? I got this white one here and this one. And I knew I wanted to put my embossing because when I do art journaling, I want to be able to dry my paper with my heat gun instead of waiting for it to dry. But it was all the way over here. And it was, no, it was actually over there. So it was so far away, I never grabbed for it. Well, now it's here next to me. So I will grab it more often. You have to constantly evolve how you're storing everything and find what works best for you when it comes to organizing. If you, like a bookshelf to me is, oh, also here. Up here, I forgot about that. There's a hook, a command hook with all of my Cricut mats and my brayer on it. Like you have to do what works for you. There are some things I recommend. If you're using a big shelving unit like that, the 12 by 12 works great. You can keep yours together. You can label it by Michaels, Hobby Lobby, or spring, summer, fall, winter. Label it how you want to label it. This is what works for me. Up here, though, is something I really do recommend. It works great. There's my cleaner for my mats. You can see I haven't used it. My mats need to be cleaned. But this here works great for me. It's something that's cheap, easy to use. They're not a pain to get up and down. They work great. That's something I would recommend. And also that. Putting everything in binders. My binders were from Target or Walmart, one or the other. I cut the names out on my Cricut, labeled them, and sorted them. And it's been great. So those are just a few of my suggestions. I hope if you have a small space, this has helped you a little bit. And who knows, next time I do this, it could be completely changed because I definitely do need a new bookshelf. Look, that, that, that shelf is bowing. Sloop, slightly bowing. And I think my whole bookshelf is like, hmm. But I'm not going to buy a new one. I don't have the money to buy a new one. When this one finally kicks the bucket, I already had to replace the back and like staple the black on better. It was all pushed out. You just keep doing what you're doing. I'll probably just end up flipping that shelf and keep on going. But yes, thanks for joining me today. I hope my little tour of how I do everything um, helped you out. Let me know down in the comments, please. I really want to know, do you have a tiny craft area or do you have a big craft area i'm so jealous of big craft areas anyway like subscribe and everybody have a great day